channel so we are going to attempt to do this chit chat makeup tutorial I might like fast forward some stuff and I guess when I'm doing this I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but just anyway we're gonna do the chit chat video and that's it so um, let's just get right into it if you guys have not subscribed please do so and I really appreciate it and let's just get right into this tutorial so as you guys can see I already did my eyebrows because that's what takes the longest here so I already did that and then I'm just gonna prime my eyes with not this I picked up the wrong primer no so I'm going to prime my eyes with max painterly paint pot this is like favorite primer I know you guys see me use it a lot in each tutorial but I can't help it it's just my favorite I feel like it just masks all like these little veins here so I don't know this is just one of my favorite primers to use I haven't really found a good eye primer that even compares to this so if you guys know of another one or maybe cheaper well this is not really that expensive it's $16.50 but if you guys know of anything else similar to this let me know in the comments below <music> So I'm going in with my 35M palette. Well, it's 35O, but it's the matte version. So this is the all matte version. And I'm going to take the lightest shade here and put that all over the eyes. So I'm going to take this MAC 224 brush and let's see. I think I'm going to go in with this color here as my transition shade. Can you guys see that? Oh, it's so cool. this color here in the palette and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and I don't know what brush I'm going to use yet. Oh, brush, oh, brush, oh, brush. oh I'm going to use one of these brushes. I'm going to use this brush. This is an Alter Beauty, Alter Beauty brush. I'm going to use this. Then I'm just going to place this right on the lid. Guys, if you do not have this palette, you need this palette. If you do anything in life, get this palette. <laughs> this palette is so bomb. I can't, I, I can't. I don't even know if the camera can pick up how much pigmentation this has in it. These shadows are so pretty. Then I'm going to take the shadow right underneath it, right here. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner just to darken it up just a little bit just a little bit nothing crazy it doesn't even I don't even think it darkens it up that much it's like the same almost the same color but just a tad bit darker So then I'm going to grab Sigma's E25 blending brush and oh back to the matte colors. So I'm going to go back into the matte shadow and let's see what I'm going to take from here. I want to darken up the crease a little bit so I'm thinking this brown here. I don't want it to be too dark so I'm just going to keep maybe this brown. I might even throw a little bit of that in there or this but let's start off with this brown from here. So I thought that would be a little darker, but it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this dark brown here in the corner and just darken it up. There we go, perfect. I like to bring my shadows in just a little bit. Smoke it out a little bit, but I like to bring them in on the lid just a little bit. And then we're just 
just kind of blends everything. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go back in with, um, where's that brush? Oh, I'm gonna go back into the shimmer palette and I'm gonna take that same color that we use, this color here, and just put it again right on the lid because a lot of times when you're doing your shadows, you lose the color. So I'm just gonna go back in and put a little bit on the lid. But honestly, with these shadows, I mean, they're so pigmented that you don't even lose that color. But as you guys can see, look at how nice this is. So then going back in again with that 224 brush, I know it's like a pain in the ass. You gotta always keep blending, but it's important. If you want your shadows to look good, you have to just keep blending. Okay, now I'm just gonna take some Huggies here. I know it's supposed to be a makeup remover, but I don't have that on hand, so I'm just gonna take a wipe. Yeah, just a standard wipe, any old wipe will do. And I'm just gonna clean up underneath my eyes. Because it's just gonna really fall out. And I'm just gonna angle that off just a little bit. You see? So, a little bit there. So, make sure to clean that up. So, I'm just gonna use this Tarte Clay Pot Gel Liner. And I'm going to use a 210 brush from MAC. And let's hope this works out because I'm used to using my NYC one. But I'm just trying to be different today. So, let's work this out. Sometimes I go a little ham and make my wing too long like this, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. And then um, I'm just gonna take this right here and bring it in. So there, you guys see that? So I'm just gonna bring it in. Simple, it's not hard. And then what I do is I'm just gonna go in and fill this in. If you guys want a really in-depth how-to on wing liner, I do have one in my on my channel, so you guys could definitely go and check that out. I'll link it down below for you guys. But I'm just gonna clean it up. I just feel like it's way too thick, and I just want to clean it up just a little bit. Okay, guys. So I just threw on some lashes, and I'm using the Coco Goddess lashes, and I had to stop it and do it because they were such a pain in the ass to put on normally they're fine but i don't know they were such a pain in the ass to put on so now i'm just gonna go in with my Too faced rx hangover and this is my primer so i've been using this for quite a while it has coconut oil and it says probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers so this has been really helping me when it's hot here in florida so i have been liking this and I like to just put it all over um, like where my pores are and stuff like that. And let me get this glue off my finger because that's not a good look. Glue hanging from my fingers. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it basically on my forehead, down my nose, anything, any place where I'm gonna be really oily, so. And I like to let that set in for about a good maybe two minutes before I start my foundation because I really like my skin to drink all of this up. So yeah, so this has been one of my favorites and this was sent to me by Too Faced and I've actually been loving this so far. So, so far so good with that primer. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm going to use my MAC 170 brush. You guys know how much I love this brush. I rave about it on Snapchat. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, um, I'll leave the Snapchat name down below. But yeah, so I get into a lot of antics and things like that so um yeah so i feel like this lash is like falling more i don't know maybe it's just me but i don't know tell me what you guys think i don't know but anyway so i'm just gonna go in and put this all over the face and this is such a good foundation for like i think like more for the 
summer and springtime. I mean, obviously you can wear it in the winter as well, but it's not as heavy as a lot of other foundations. So you don't feel like it's cakey or anything like that. I know I told you guys that I love my Studio Fix, um, the Studio Fix foundation, but I do love it. It looks really nice in pictures. It's one of my favorites, but it's really a thick foundation. Like I will really wear that when maybe I'm going to an event or something like that, or you know, that's when I'll really wear that, but I don't wear that like on a daily basis. I feel like this is really light on camera but I mean I do have a tan all over my body and I don't tan my face so it will be a little bit lighter but I'm just gonna um, make sure I contour and I'll darken it up I'd rather have lighter foundation than darker foundation because you can always darken up the foundation if it's too dark you can't really do anything to help it but yeah so that I would definitely rather have so now I'm gonna go in with my cream contour. I don't normally cream contour on my face, but I'm just gonna do it today because I wanna show you guys how I do my cream contour. So, let's see. So the first thing I'm going to take is I need like something that's really dense. So yeah, let's take this one. This is, what is this, an Angel Sasa blush? I don't know. So we're gonna take something that's really dense and I'm gonna take the shade here, the highlight shade. here and this is going to be I might go in with this color because it's darker but this is just going to be my contour shade let's see how this works yeah so I probably have to go in with a darker shade everything out I'm gonna use this side for the dark shades and that's gonna be the contour shades and I'm just gonna pounce this on my skin and then I'm gonna be using this side for the lighter highlighting shades six matte brush and I'm just gonna blend everything in this is where we're gonna go in and bake the face now dusting this off now this can tend to make your face look cakey but I really suggest like I don't do this all the time this is like extreme contouring like but I don't really do 
um, cream contouring a lot. I'm just doing it today because I don't know. I just want to. It can tend to make the face look cakey, but um, I feel like if you just spray on your face like any like Fix Plus or any, you know, anything like that, that it definitely won't make it look as cakey. Um, but I like this because like I said, this is when I'm really like going out is when I do something like this, but just gonna blend everything in. So now I'm gonna set it and what I like to set it with is, you guys probably know this already, but I like to go in with my MAC Studio Fix. This is a powder foundation. The reason why I like to use it is because, I don't know, it just makes everything look flawless on the face afterwards. So that's why I'm just gonna go in and just set the whole face. And I'm gonna go on top of the contour a little bit too, just so I could just kind of like blend it out a little bit. Don't make it as harsh. And this is definitely gonna set my face throughout the day. And I'm telling you like nothing is going to move. This is like bulletproof foundation. Well, makeup. So my battery just died and I had to recharge it for the last hours. So I'm taking this MAC blush and this is in Blush Baby. And I'm going to take this NYX brush and just put this on the cheeks. If you hear that bell, not bell, but if you hear that like sound, that's Rocky's um, collar. So just don't mind that. This is such a beautiful blush. I like it a lot. And this brush is bomb, guys. This is from NYX. So I don't know, I think they only have these on the website. I've never seen them sold in the store. I mean, I could be wrong, but. Oh, a little extra there. So I think I'm gonna go in with Gerard Cosmetics Highlighter and this one is in Marilyn. And this is how it looks. How pretty is that? Let me show you guys. So I'm using this Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush in F35 brush and I'm just going to spray a little bit, not a lot, and because I just want the highlight to be really like highlighted. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. So I'm just going to highlight here, oh. down the bridge of my nose, and here. So then just going in with my Morphe palette, this one is the matte one, I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash and I want to go in with this color first, actually no, I'm going to go in with the dark shade first and then I'm just going to mix these two together. Then going in with a clean brush, I'm just going to smoke it out, oh why am I holding this up? <laughs> So just going in with a clean brush, just gonna smoke it out a little bit. And then I want to take a little bit of that highlight and put it on the inner corners. This is Manny MUA 04 Cosmetics in Aries. 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 <laughs> in Aries. Um, so I think I'm going to use this because I really want a new lip. Last thing I'm going to do is take this color from the palette and just put that right underneath the brow bone. And then we're pretty much done. guys this is the finished look um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and like my video as well and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys